Hello everyone, this is David from China. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to make countdown using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So firstly, let's see the overview of today's video. Our project is gonna be something like this. If you don't know what the countdown is, let me explain it to you. So let's say we mark an event in the future and the countdown shows us how much time left to that event and also it, it counts down the time. So I marked my event on 27th of April in the year 2020 and my countdown shows me that 5 days, 21 hours, 59 minutes and 20, let's say 26 seconds left to that event and also it counts down the time and also I gave the name of birthday countdown because that day is gonna be my birthday and also here I put the link of my youtube channel using font awesome 5 icons so after finishing this video you can also make such kind of projects on your own so let's get started so firstly I will go to my sublime text and create three new files so I will save them one by one. So the first one will be index.html and the second one will be index.css and the third one will be index.js. So in my HTML I will write some basic tags and I will give the title of let's say countdown. So firstly I should link my CSS and JavaScript to my HTML. So now I will link my JavaScript and the source should be index.js. So as you can see here, I use it font awesome five icons. In order to use that icon, you should put its the link of its library to your HTML. So I will paste its link to my HTML here. If you don't have it, just do not worry. I will just leave it in the description below. So here inside the body, I will create the div and I will align it to the center and then everything inside this div will be in the center. And also I will create the table because I want to show every information inside the table. So I will say h1, I will give the name birthday count down. So now I want to have table raw table raw between table raw I want to have table data seven table data so I will just copy it and paste it three four five six seven so I want to give the ID of days to the first table data because I want to show days here and in the second one I just want to have two dots like this because as you can see here bit between every two numbers I want to have two dots like this so this third one will have the ID of hours and the fourth one will have just two dots like this and the fifth one will have the ID of minutes and the sixth one two dots and the last one will have the ID of seconds so I want to have one more table raw because as you can see here I want to give the description of every number like days, hours, minutes, seconds. So in order to do that I want to have 7 table data in my second row also. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the first one will be days and the third one will be minutes here minutes and the fifth one will be oh the third one should be hours because after days we want to show hours here and the fifth one will be minutes and the last one will be seconds so after the table, I want to have the link of my YouTube channel, so I will open a tag for my YouTube channel, and inside a, I want to open i tag because I want to use the icon. So I will write the class name of YouTube icon. It will be f a 
fa hyphen youtube so i want to write the name of the icon here that's why i will say youtube so let's see the overview let's see how it looks now here here it is it is so simple so now we will give some style to it using css and make it more beautiful so the body should have background color of rgba let's say 0 155 255 and 1 it is a kind of blue so here and also i want the font size font size to be let's say 2 rem 2 rem and also i want the font weight to be bolder so let's see now here it is so now i want to give different style to different parts of my html so h1 should have the color of red and it should have the text decoration of underline here it is so now i want to give style to my table so the table should have let's say margin bottom of 40 pixels here it is so now i want to give different styles to my table data let's say text align should be center and also color should be black it is inherit color so let's say background color should be rgba let's say 255 120 let's say 60 and also one here it is so i want to have the padding of 10 pixels and also i want to have the border radius of let's say eight pixels here it is so the last thing left is my youtube link so i will say <coughs> A should have the font size of 40 pixels and it should have the background color of black and it should have the color of red and the text decoration should be underlined so let's see now here it is so I want to put some let's say more padding so padding should be 10 pixels and also border radius should be 10 pixels here it is but i want to have space between this icon and the text so i will just write i should have the margin right of let's say 10 pixels and also i want to give box shadow to my link so i will say box box shadow should be let's say 7 pixels 7 pixels 13 pixels and it should be white here it is everything is ready so now we can write some functions in our javascript so before doing everything i want to write comments so firstly i want to declare the event date so i will say war event date should be let's say new date so i want to give the date in the form of string so april 27 year 2020 and the exact time is 00 zero, 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 and 00, zero so our javascript should get its time so i will say get time so now we should create interval function so now i will explain why interval function because our javascript should run the function in every seconds and then we can update the time so here i will say var x is equal to set interval so it will be function so inside the function so firstly let's say let's take the current time so we'll say current time 
so the current time will be var now is equal to new date and we should get its time so after that we should know the remaining time right so remaining time will be var remain is equal to even date minus now so we got the remaining time but do not forget that the remaining time is in milliseconds so we should convert these milliseconds into minutes seconds hours and days so in order to do that we will use mass functions so we'll say war let's say seconds is equal to mass floor so we'll say remain over by 1000 so if we divide those milliseconds by 1000 it will give us the seconds so now we'll take minutes it will be mass dot floor let's say remain over let's say 1000 by 60 so we got the seconds right so if you multiply this 1000 by 60 it will give us the minutes so we will say war hours is equal to let's say mass floor mass floor it is remain over let's say 1000 multiplied by 60 and also 60 here we got the hours now we will get the days it will be mass dot floor it will be remain over let's say 1000 multiplied by 60 60 and 24 now we got the days so now let's talk about the hours here we got the total number of hours it can be 100, 200, 300, 400, we don't know. So, but we want it to be from 1 to 24. So, in order to do that, we will take the modulus of hours should be the modulus of 24. And also the seconds should be the modulus of 60. And the minutes should be the modulus of, let's say, 60. Because minutes and seconds should be between 1 and 60. So <clears throat> now the last thing is if the number is less than 10, we want to have 0 before it. So most new programmers do it like this. They will say if, let's say, hours is less than 10, it should be, hours should be equal to, let's say, 0 plus hours so we'll say hours so but we don't want to write too many lines of code so I want I, I want to show you another way of doing this so hours should be equal to here we will give our condition if it is less than 10 if the condition is true it should be 0 plus hours if the condition is wrong it should be hours itself so we can do like this so I will just copy it and paste it two more times so it will be minutes if it's less than 10 it will be 0 plus minutes and here minutes so at last I want to write seconds seconds so here s and here s so we got the information we got the numbers now so I just want to put these numbers to my HTML so I will say document dot get element by ID so the days let's say firstly we'll get days dot text content should be days so let's see whether it's working or not now here it is five days left so I will just copy it and paste it two three four so the second one will be hours so it should be age and also here let's say minutes it should be M 
and the last one should be seconds so, so it should be s so let's see whether it's working or not so here it is 5 days 21 hours 45 minutes and 4 seconds left so I just want to do one more thing let's say let's say that 27th of April came so what will happen if the numbers are equal to zero if we don't stop the interval it will be minus number it, it can be minus one day minus two days something like this so we don't want it to be like this so we want to stop the interval when the numbers are equal to zero 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 so in order to do that I will say here I will say let's say if if days is equal to zero and let's say hours is equal to zero zero and let's say minutes is equal to is equal to zero zero and the last seconds and seconds is equal to zero zero I want to clear the interval so I can say clear interval so clear interval X so here it is when the event date comes the interval will stop so that's it for today's video I hope you liked the project please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel more and more videos and projects are coming basically I want to have a channel where everyone can practice every programming language soon I will upload the videos about Python and also C++ different languages so see you guys